Alright, what's up guys? So, Code Blue Cam has uploaded a video titled Simple Encounter Turns Into Complete Chaos. Like, I, and it's it's probably just on some stuff. Well, then again, I don't know. Like, I, I don't want to make any assumptions. Um, but, um, yeah, overall, it could be a situation where they might know the guy. But, if that's not the case, and, you know, they, there isn't no, like, reason to trip or be... Because I'm saying, like, it's it's one of those things where, like, my, like, headphones is kind of tangled up. So, I was trying to, like, maneuver it and then and got distracted. But, no, if it's on some stuff where it's, like, uh, you know, they're just approaching you just to approach you. Like, yeah, if some cops approach me, I'm like, okay, I know I didn't do nothing crazy. So, like, yeah, if, if they think that I did, I'm like, okay, well, you know what? I'm not trying to, you know... Uh, have it where I'm my next time my family sees me, they unzipping a body bag. So, whatever you guys need to figure out, let's figure it out. I ain't gonna be hostile, I'm not gonna be crazy, I'm just trying to get home, okay? So, anyways, uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video, guys. If you haven't, make sure you go subscribe to uh, Code Blue Cam for more videos like this. And then, that being said, on October 5th, 2022. An officer was investigating trouble with a party incident at Huska Park in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Upon arrival, the officer was flagged down by a Parks and Rec employee, stating a male subject in the park had knocked off his hat and called him an offensive name. Mm. The male was allegedly upset with the employee because he had thrown away some of his property when it was found on the roof of the gazebo. Oh. The employee pointed out the male to the officer, who was walking through the park. He was later identified as 22-year-old Edison Quesada Valera. Hmm. When the officer approached Edison about the incident, he was immediately uncooperative and hostile. Hey man, how you doing? We oh, talked this morning? You and I talked this yeah, morning? Yeah, with the camera? I you were not no. Well, the reason I'm talking with you now is because uh, the parks employee said that you knocked his hat off of his head and called him a yeah. Why did you do that? Do you have an ID with you? Do you have an ID with you, sir? Yeah, I do. Can I see your ID, please? Can I see your ID first? Right there. Can I see your ID, please? Right here. This is my face. It's like, he don't... It's... Okay, because I, I know some people will see that. And they're like, oh, let me... You know, when a cop approaches me and then they ask for my... I, no, because the thing is, is this... If he would have just, you know, been responsive, answered the cop's question, showed his ID, all that stuff, like, unless he has, like, some warrants and all that, then I can understand why he would be a little hesitant about showing any identification. But if not, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Look, because I feel like at the end of the day, if, let's say, if this were to go down where it's on some stuff where it's like he explains, like, you know, what had happened and things, and, uh, yeah, you know, plead his case in his story, then maybe the cops would overall write it off, but, or then, yeah, just tell him, like, yeah, but, you know, you gotta leave the property, go home, or go wherever and stuff, but you just can't be out in this area and things, and so, that, it could have, it could have, I'd say maybe, like, a 70-75% chance of it ending that way, but... If not, and yeah, you know, like, I guess if the cops want to go and do a further more investigating and stuff, then I don't know. Maybe he could get some possible jail time, but I feel like he's pushing himself further and further into that position of getting some sort of jail time, so. I'm investigating a disorderly conduct charge. You need to identify who you are. You need to give me your name and date of birth. What's your name and date of birth? Failure to identify will result in an obstructing charge. Failure to identify will result in an obstructing charge. It's like, bro, it's he, yeah, you could tell he's under the influence of some of either that or he's just extremely immature. But it's like, people do not repeat what the cop is telling you, all right? All that's just gonna do is just have it where the cop, because then what? Then when that cop's like, all right, nope, you're under arrest, and start pulling out the handcuffs and things, and he's like, well, no, wait a second, wait a second. I guarantee, and I promise you, he's gonna do that. He, he gonna change up this whole act that he got going on right now. 94 to. 90, how far out are you? You're not free to leave. I'm looking for my bicycle, sir. Well, I'm telling you that you're not free to leave. Well, I'm telling you that my bicycle is here. And Come I have here. a white suit. Come here. Five. Come here. Put your hand behind your back. Put your other hand behind your back now. Dude, no. Stop resisting. What is Stop resisting. Do? Stop pulling away from me. Stop pulling away from me. Stop resisting. Get on the ground. Nah. 
Get on the ground! Now! Camera record! Get on. His body cam fell Dang. off, and the chest mount was damaged. Oh, wow. The officer attempted to decentralize Edison several times, but was unsuccessful. Get on the ground! Oh my God! Get on the ground! To overcome his active resistance, the officer deployed his taser, but the probe soon broke, and he was forced to drive stun Edison. Dang. He said he didn't think it was gonna hurt that bit, bro. The thing is, is this: they have it where it's either in the military or at some like you know when like cops be going through like school to become a cop. Don't they have it where it's like I don't, I don't know if it's like both or if like one or the other does it, but it's like when they show when people be like locked arms. I'm like, all right, do it, do it, just do it, just just hurry up, get it over with. And then they're like taser, and then they like yeah, when they get shot, like when the people fall forward and their body is just locked up. Bro. Uh, it's something where I'm like, I don't have to get tased to know that being tased hurts. <laughs> like, it's not, it ain't gonna be like on some stuff where, yeah, I've seen videos where it's, uh, you know, people have like overcome the taser and then, yeah, and that's most likely because they're probably high off something. But other than that, it's like, yeah, you're an average, normal person. Yeah, they're, you know, they're not going to, uh, they're, they're not going to be immune to being tased and stuff unless they're not from this world. But other than that, it's, yeah, it's like, bro, you, come on now. Get on your stomach! Get on your stomach! Stop, stop, Get on your stomach! Stop, 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 stop. Get on your He's stomach! He's like, stop, stop, stop. like, bro, this ain't no UFC fight. Get on your stomach, you're gonna get it again. Get on your stomach! Please stop, please stop, please stop. Get on your stomach now! Get on your stomach! Get on your stomach. Dang. That's messed up. He continued to be assaultive and tried to take the officer's taser. Oh, wow. Due to this, the officer delivered several knee strikes. Dang. Get on your stomach! Yeah, that's how you know tried to crowd. take him into custody, a large yep. crowd formed around them, and an uninvolved male shoved the officer off Edison. It's like, bro, what you, like, I'm telling you, man, there's some people in this world where it's like... The male was later identified as 32-year-old Ronald Wright. When the officer pointed the taser at Ronald, he fled the scene. Oh, that was the guy that pushed, okay. That's crazy. This has to this has to be one of the craziest cold blue cam videos. They got like different angles and stuff. That is wild. This must have been like a popular like news story somewhere and then then yeah, people just overall was like, you know, saw this video and then cuz this video it got a lot of views. So I'm yeah, I'm, I'm guessing it had to been like a very, you know, popular story and stuff, so but yeah, people, like, that's like, look, that's why I say, like, if a cop approaches you, I know a lot of people out there, it's like, you don't have to like cops, you don't have to, like, I'm saying, like, you don't have to, like, bro, you don't have to do anything surrounding a cop, but if a cop approaches you and they're asking you questions, regardless of whether you're in trouble or not, just answer the questions truthfully, I feel like a cop would take a lot more respect out of, um, out of that than you, you know, being unresponsive or just, you know, you thinking, oh, I'm bigger and better than the cop, but it's like you gotta understand a cop got multiple weapons on them all right they got a gun they got a taser and then they probably have like a baton and you know maybe some other weapons and things i'm not trying to see those weapons i'm not trying to deal with those weapons any of that stuff i ain't trying to get shot tased hit with a baton need punched in the face none of that stuff i'm like so yeah that's on something where i'm like okay you know cop you what what you want my hands you up all right hands is behind my back you want me to get on the ground i'll get on the ground but i'm like look bro don't be acting all hostile and crazy towards me i won't act all hostile and crazy towards you okay and we could go on about our business but yeah it's just some people out there where it's like you know yeah there's some cops out there where they got too much power then there's some people out there where they think they got too much power and it's like bro i'm telling you on both sides it ain't gonna work out for you guys so especially like when one 
Like, so if it's a situation where the guy thinks, the guy, whoever, the suspect thinks that they got more power than the cop, it's not going to work out in your favor. And then when the cop, it's like, you know, and it's like, look at all the situations that happened in the past three years where cops then, you know, use too much force on somebody. And then look what happened. They ended up like, oh, suspended without pay or fired. Riots be happening all across the world. I'm saying, man, people, y'all got it like both, both sides. Y'all got to chill on that stuff. So, but in this case, yeah, the suspect, yeah. And it's like, you gotta ask those people that's like trying to defend this man. It's like, what would you do in my situation? Guys, like, that's why it's like stuff like that. It's like, you gotta like have them like, I, of like, of course not. Well, yeah, in a way, like act it out to where it's like, okay, you're dealing with somebody that's not listening to your commands and stuff. So. <laughs> The officer's use of force was later justified by the department. Can we just get some space? We'll sort it all out. He's like, bro, what? I got it. He's suing him in this life for what? How is that? How is that going to work? He wasn't even involved. There's a large crowd right here, but we're all right for right now. We'll take as many as we can. I just got here. Let us sort it out. Are you alright, man? Just so, just so everyone knows, I'm completely fine. I'm just really calm now because I got things. We got you. I'm so completely fine. No, do not. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I, yep, I just got here, man. Do you need medical attention? It's about respect. I can't see without the glasses. Okay, let's get the glasses. Please hold on to them. They're important. It's about respect. We got you. Right. That's good they are allowing the woman to uh, yeah, come for him. Back up. Back up. I'll get him on him. Let's get some space, please. Thank you. It's like, that whole crowd got riled up. And it's like, damn, this. Does she watch my watch? Yeah. That is not my watch. Okay. Can I put these on you? My glasses. Yep. My phone. That's all I need to really live, to be honest. And my wallet is in my back pocket. Okay. With my ID in it and everything. Where's this bag? Looks good there? Yeah. My bro, that is fucking tasty. Now it's like the one thing that I can't say is like I don't know if like if the kneeing the suspect like was necessarily justified where it's like that's look I look I'm telling you I think cops that like besides them you know going to the force I think that there are some cops that's like y'all got to take up like some um like defense classes and stuff not like because what's the is it I I don't know if it's um uh brazilian jiu-jitsu what's the one fighting style where it's like well, i know there's wrestling like where so yeah they could like learn something like that but yeah just overall something where it's like okay like if a suspect's acted all wild and crazy you don't want to like punch or knee him and things then yeah you know just overall like try to maneuver your body just like but just have it where it's like you don't have to use that form of force and then, you know, then it's even because it could have been a situation where it's like, yeah, they could have looked at it, where is the cops fault for kneeing the man and then tasting them and all this other stuff. So it's like that. I was like, yeah, I think that there could have been another way of going about it that way. But no, but yeah, dude, dude was kind of out of pocket. So like, yeah, it's, you know, are both parties wrong in some ways? But yeah, you know, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, I think just what I was originally saying, you know, yeah, it's, I don't think he shouldn't need the guy. Hey, I will talk to you when like, we'll get all Homie, out, okay? chill out. I got my phone, my front pocket, my wallet in my back pocket. I might have some soap in my back pocket. Are you injured? Are you good? I can grab it. Where's it at? You got it all secured? Yeah. You guys okay? Apparently you guys are new. Like I said, no, no, no. I just got him, man. You don't need medical attention, you said, right? Fine, man. Looks like there's maybe one up here. Oh, uh, there was one on my butt, and that was it. I was only feeling it in my butt. On your butt? No, it. I taste him down here. Oh, here's one. Here's one. Yeah, I got a video. I found one. 
Haul off and start yelling like that. Yeah. <laughs> nah, something ain't right. <laughs> Once we get this right, I'll come talk to you and get it all sorted out, okay? I'll talk to all you guys. No. No. It's like, I, I don't want to say what i'm thinking you know just but overall like with the you know amount of tents that's there i do feel like that this is a uh camp of some sorts and yeah that's that's something where it's like you know just because so the thing is this i live in washington state and for those that also live in washington state i'm pretty sure if you're familiar with the seattle area there's a lot of these form of camps all right don't want to say what kind of camp it is i'm just i'm gonna say like it could be it could be the case i don't know but the times where i have heard stories where people within that camp has like you know done some wild stuff to somebody and things um in like the downtown seattle area or any other areas outside of seattle um yeah like no it's it's like bro it's it's some crazy stuff so i think that's even more so a reason why it's like you know, I, I understand, like, it, it is hard, but I think, like, yeah, they could either this land or somewhere where it's, like, they need to, that's something that I thought of where it's, like, I would like to, like, at some point in time, like, if there is ever a time where I'm making, like, Mr. Beast type money, I would like to um, think, like, I do still have, like, that same, like, the same memory I have, like, in the future and stuff when that time does come where, I'm overall, uh, like, I, I thought I had heard something in the distance, and I was just like, okay, like, I, <laughs> I was like, let me just, okay, <laughs> I'm like, I'm calm, I was like, I was about to do this real quick, but I was like, okay, I was just, maybe it was just something, but I was like, anyways, back to what I was talking about, no, I would like to buy, like, some property or a hotel or something, like, just an old hotel, and then just have it where it's like, I can, you know, help people get back on their feet and things, because, I don't think nobody should have to live like this. You know, I see that a lot in the time when I had worked in Seattle. It was just like, it was hard seeing that. You know, when you see like, uh, parents and they got their kids with them and stuff and they in a situation like that, I'm like, nah, that's a hard thing to see. So yeah, it's something where I'm like, I, you know, I would like to think that when that time does come, like I'm overall like, okay, still that same thing I wanted to do back when I wasn't making Mr. Beast money. I want to uh, find some property or a hotel. If I got to build a hotel, I don't know how I will go about that. But there's construction going on in Seattle every day. So um, I'm, I'm pretty sure, yeah, <laughs> I'm like, I could find a crew, be um, able to get it like done and all that stuff. And then, yeah, you know, help out people. But it's like, yeah, in situations like this where it's like, you know, stuff like this happens where it's like somebody, they confront another person and then next thing you know, cops are being called. And then it's just, it'd be on some extra stuff that don't even need to go down. So what are you gonna need after we get down there? Yeah, yeah, what happened? I was trying to detain him for just, just what we found out. And we all got shot. Kelly Mike that needs to be. Oh, dude, what the? F what are you doing? Stop moving. Okay, Jesus. Is this him? I just got it. I'm not doing it. Is that him? No. No. It was a baby blue shirt with cross on the back. I need him more. That was unnecessary. Also, the reason I got arrested is because I was looking for my bicycle. And I couldn't. Does he know that? Birthday twig. We got this. He, he, he didn't need to start kneeing him in the head. In the head? Yeah, no, that's something where I'm like, okay, yeah, that's that's the cop where it's like, okay, like, look talking to the cops out there you know i know i do a lot of these videos where i'm talking to the suspect but talking to the cop you ain't gotta need nobody in their head i'm saying like now it's like you know putting the cop in their situation it's like how would that make you feel it's like if you're being arrested for some reason you got a cop kneeing you in the head yeah overall though like i say where it's like yeah just listen to the cop but at the same time it's like a cop should always like they should if they gotta go through more training or they don't feel comfortable you know with their current status of like 
of skill level, I guess, like when it comes to being a cop, then it's like, okay, if you're not comfortable with that, you need to let somebody know. And if we got to put you through some defense classes, some meditation classes, whatever it is, it's like, look, you don't got to need nobody in their head, okay? So. Can you hold on to Uh, it's okay, it's okay, he's just pulling the probe out. He just hurt a little bit. Oh. Dang, them things were, that's what those uh things, because I saw like he put it there and I'm like, what's that? That's the thing from the taser? Oh, that's crazy. No, please, 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 please. I don't have anything like put you to the We got you, buddy. Yep. Fish roll, man. Any of you officers ever seen you with a key? Yep. So how did this all come out? Um, it was the parks guy. His complaint. Okay. He said that this guy knocked his knocked his head off and called him a. Okay. When I asked him about it, he said I did knock his head off and called him a. He did. He did. Oh wow. Ninety-four by the pavilion. I want to get him going. Yep. So that we don't have a bunch of people yelling and screaming here. We don't know necessarily if there's another guy out here that. We can look at what maybe a baby blue shirt. A baby blue T-shirt with. Um, crosses, uh, not crosses, swords crossed on his back. Did he hit you or what? Yeah, he yeah. hit me off of him while... We can get the video and everything after that, so... Yeah. so you want, do you not need to interview any of these people or anything? I mean, you can. I don't know what it's even going to matter. Okay. Um, I'll talk to Me and Joe jo will was, talk to a few of them, try to get everything sorted out that way. What's crazy, it's like, like this, we ain't at the halfway yeah, portion of this video. Was, like, we almost there, but it's like, dang, there's still more that's going to be going down. So did you talk, so we need to talk to Richard? Um, who's the parks guy? I don't, Nate will know, I'll call Nate. Yeah, we... I didn't see where he went once he went around the other side of the pavilion. God, I thought you were closer than you were. Yeah, I apologize. I, I, I was, they were all on top of me. I hauled it. Um, so we'll talk to a few people, get some stuff sorted out. You want to deal with that, and then we'll get yeah. up, up the Them video. guys ain't going to cooperate with no cops. Yeah, they ain't going to answer no cop questions. I mean, is there any charge for... When I tased him, he tried grabbing the taser out of my hand. It's an uncomfortable for that, right? This is it's disarming not, a police not, officer. I don't think that's disarming, though. It's just a firearm. Probably because that mess, it sounded like that mess hurts. He got, when he tried to grab the taser from me, I just started... And then how and big, to... like, the things were that, like, went into him and stuff. Yeah, he, he probably was just trying to do that more so to, like, get it off of him and things. But I, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's running through that man's head at the time, so... Yeah. So DC resisting on him? Yeah. Yeah. Did the other guy punch you or did he kick he, you? Or? He just two handed shoved me off. Okay. Alright. Ask Kelly Mike, is he upset because this guy got. Yeah, I mean, every, yeah. People. Okay. People are just claiming that I yeah. was battering him for no reason. Right. Why don't you just get going they with all, him? They all caught on as I'm getting loose for this. Yeah. Guy. Right, right. Why don't you just get going with him? Me and Miller will try and talk okay. through some people and go through the video on the back right. end. Open a criminal complaint. Who do I get in contact with to open up a criminal complaint against uh, the, the officer, Howie? Okay. Who would just use excessive force on that man right there? Right. Well, it's all documented it's on I, video. I understand that, but who do I get in contact with to open up a f uh, compl complaint about against him? Uh, because that's not the first officer that has come down here and used excessive force. I have a lawsuit right now that I'm opening up against you guys because when you guys arrested me, you used uh, uh, unlawful use of force. Right. Or so that, that that was escalated that did not need to be he was not he was he was not he already had him tased on the ground right. he did not need to continue to knee him in the 
head. Okay, well, I can't make that determination right now. I and understand you can't, but who do I get in, in contact with so I can do that? I'm trying to get, resolve you, this peacefully so I don't... Well, you can either file a complaint online or you can call a shift commander and talk to them. Shift commander? Can I get their, or you their can number? talk to a sh supervisor here, and they can explain to you what else you can do. But I can tell you that uh, the situation is more. Yeah, it's like they got all those uh, so. tents oh, and I, stuff. I it's gonna it's gonna be hard trying to like find that guy because there might there might be some of those um, some people in there that might have been asleep and they didn't hear all that and they just got like their tent you know closed up and stuff. So it's gonna be hard trying to find out where the guy is that uh, pushed the cop. They might, they, they, who knows? They might write it off. And so part of the reason that this happened, part of the head, part of the reason that this happened was there was a guy wearing a light blue shirt that was also assaulting the officer. Do you know yeah, who that, that is? No, I don't. And okay. even if I did, I wouldn't be telling you guys okay. because you ain't helping me out. With well, I told you up. you can talk to one of the supervisors that, that are on that, scene, that, or you can file a complaint online but you're saying that the situation is more complicated than i than well i'm t i'm telling what i'm telling you is there's a supervisor well, I, what i'm telling you is yeah the reason that, that that officer got hit in the face by that person is because he was kneeing the, the what i'm telling you is there's a supervisor over here if you'd like to talk to them and they can direct you differently or if you don't want to talk to anybody you can walk away there's a supervisor here if you'd like to talk to him you said you're not injured at all no sir what nope not injured at all is he injured you okay? say what is he, uh, uh, I forgot the officer's name, the other officer, is he okay? I, I'm the guy that you were fighting with. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> you and I were the ones that had the kerfuffle? Now we get to have a conversation? Oh, that's awesome. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Were you having a rough day or something? What happened? I can barely hear you, sorry. Were you having a rough day or something? What happened? I'm having a fine day. Wake up on the wrong side of the bed. Why do you assume I'm having a bad day or woke up on the wrong side? Because of you bed? didn't lead with kindness, sir. Because I didn't lead with kindness. No, that's exactly why. Do you think knocking someone's head off and calling them a f is leading with kindness? No, but I think escalating is uh, the very opposite of leading with kindness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's that cop's confused. He's I'm like, not going to escalate that. He's <laughs> like, what is this conversation? <laughs> Well, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna shut the f no, we're That gonna... sounds like good advice. Do I get to choose what jail I go to? You wanna choose what jail you go to? Yeah, like can I go to a different city? What jail would you want to go to? Uh, does Trump Below have a jail? Trump Below County has a jail. Or Centerville? Um, the crime Centerville. that you committed was in La Crosse County, so you have to go to the La Crosse County jail. Okay. Cool. Any advice for going to jail? Say what? Do you have any advice for going to jail? <clears throat> also, am I going to jail or prison? You're going to jail. Had you just complied and not walked away from me. Had you just complied and listened to the words that were coming out of my mouth. I'm sorry for grabbing your taser, sir. It's just that I was being tased. And, well, I didn't want to keep getting tased, man. It hurt. I told you just to roll over on your stomach. What's that? I told you just to roll over on your stomach. Yeah, after you tased me. Police reviewed surveillance video and interviewed witnesses in an attempt to find the male who shoved the officer. Dang, he's far out there. They were able to locate Ronald and took him into custody. It should they also be found? noted he was out on one misdemeanor and one felony bond. Oh, wow. How did they even find him? Bro, that's like some Grand Theft Auto stuff. You know how, like, in the game when you turn down an alley and stuff and then the cops just randomly start turning down that alley? And it's like, bro, how did you guys find me? That is crazy. I would have never... Nah, that's like... I would have never found that man. I'm like... Because they said, like, he um he went around that, uh, like, that bathroom part of the uh, park and stuff. And then, yeah, he, he disappeared. So it's like, bro, how do you... How do you find... That's crazy. That's not a huge deal. It's not a huge deal. We just want to chat. Right. No big deal. Oh my god. These that's, are like that's some. The entrance. Hey. hey, what's up? How's it going? Pretty good. So, how many people are you? Uh, just us three. So you three. Yep. Okay. What's up? Oh, they just have a quick question, I guess. Yeah. Can, can I chat with you real quick? Yeah. 
I heard that. Yeah. Tase is Somebody getting shot. Dude, down that cop was bogus. I've watched the entire thing, dude. Like that cop was super bogus. I've never gotten involved with anything that you guys do or anything, but that was bogus. As We're gonna, yeah, right. he tased right. him. He was already down. Sure, I get it. Do you want to turn it over? Just gonna talk yeah. a minute, then we'll be out. Last name? Right. W R I G H T. Mm. R I G H T. Yes. Did they text it to you or? You got the tattoo right there. Vanity and on. The and the shoes. What so. is he saying? Oh. Holy f so He's coming and shoves him in the face. So. He's asking to show his tattoo. The guy said it was Ronnie. He just said Ronnie White. But I don't know if he said white or right. I couldn't understand what the what slur. His name is Ronnie. His name is Ronnie. Right. Tell if that's the same guy or not, but sure, just check his, just ask his arms. Is that any tattoos? Yeah, that's what I thought. Maybe ask him first and see if we can pinpoint him, but he completely changed everything. So, do you, can you show me your arm? Do you have, do you have tattoos on your arm? Oh, yeah. And then on this one, because it looks like you were over, it looks like you were over there. Mm -hmm. There's, can you tell us what you saw when you were over there? A man getting kneed in his and tased repetitively. Okay, and then obviously. You, Tried to. What did you? What? What happened when you got involved with, with the officer? I mean, there's video over there, so we just want to get right, inside. I, I was trying to save a man's life. Okay. Just to get him relaxed, like chill the f out, boys. You know what I mean? Like, sure. I don't know why he was going so hard on him. Okay. So. Do you? I wasn't uh, trying to whoop his. Ass. If that was the case, I would have. Right. You know, hey, you, you can see he tased me in my chest. Okay. Yeah. Right? Are you okay? Um. Yeah. Was it a drive stun or was there like probes? No, it was a dry one. Do you have any injuries on your chest? I don't believe so. I looked. I didn't see any marks. Okay. No, I don't want no drama or to get in trouble for that. It's not an ill intention. Nah. You touch a, no, the thing is this, you touch a cop, even if, even if he had just walked up to the cop and then, you know, just like, like kind of grabbed his shoulder or whatever, they look, okay, you can't poke do nothing okay absolutely nothing all right to no cop that's just it's just gonna put you furthermore into trouble so right you know what i mean i wasn't right. trying to harm an officer i was legitimately just trying to separate the retardation that was i, I was sure. seeing you know but i ain't hearing I, none I, I of that i hear what you're saying right do you but don't please don't don't use the butt words. that's just all agree as men you know what i mean like because i get the i get pushing, you pushing a cop is not no, I know that, and that's not something I'm trying to regularly do, dog. Right. I'm just trying to save a man's life. He was getting battered, dude. Sure. That officer definitely pushed the envelope. There ain't no question about sure. it. Thank you, sir. You know, and you got how many, every every resident here sure. will be saying the exact same thing, including right. the man who was getting molly -wop. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, I wasn't trying to hurt the cop. I was just trying to relax his ass from doing whatever the he was doing. Hmm. Does that work? I mean, it did. If because he relaxed. Because he focused his attention. Boom. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. He kept his control, the dude. You know what I mean? But he was done abusing him. I turned away and I walked away. And I wasn't. I wasn't causing a conflict after that. I wasn't trying to push no buttons. I was just trying to stop the heat of the moment of him abusing a citizen of your city. Do you recognize where others around may see it as something different? Yes, but their intelligence levels and ours can be far different. You've been respectful. Yeah. You've, 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 you've talking with us, right? Right. Um, and we appreciate that. Yeah. You are going to end up going to jail with us today, though. Dang. You can't be interviewing like that. So I'm going to have a Dang. Delay. I appreciate being here. All right? Can you uh, step up? No, just step put that in that mouth. Can, can, can I finish this? Yep, put it in your mouth, man. I appreciate it. Because you're going to see some of this, okay? I need to breathe deep right now. Yep, yeah. stay your breath. Can I have everybody here come to my court date tomorrow? Everyone. Yep. Or matter of fact, I would like everybody to kind of actually run there right now. To the jail to cause the ruckus that they're arresting and what they were doing. Okay, we're gonna have you step up. As many as many of you as I can get. I know that, but as many of you as I can get will be the answer. If you guys don't do it, I'm. Look, he's gonna get. The video's almost over, so I'm saying if they have been like an extra like ten more minutes, yeah, they were like we already know some crazy about to go down. Breath in one, two, three. We'll have you step up. Do you want us to unplug that? I did. Okay, you did. Okay, step up. One, two, three. Ready? I, I really don't. You got. You got to go, Ronald. Come on. Just step up. One, two, three. Just keep Just it with up. what it's at. Step up. There you go. Thank you. That I, <laughs> if I had been a cop and seen him pop his neck like that, I'm like, all right. I'm like, homie, just.
Ronnie Please Ronnie. don't. Oh, he's been very cool and cooperative. All that, all gets documented. Edison was charged with misdemeanor counts of criminal damage to property, resisting, and disorderly conduct. Ronald was charged with felony bail jumping and misdemeanor counts of disorderly conduct and resisting. Dang. Both were later released on a $1,000 oh, wow. signature bond. Go to CodeBlueCam.com and check out our newly released merch. Yeah, that was wild. Yeah, it's stuff like that, you know, th that in that situation that could have went down horribly bad cuz I'm like, yeah, it's like it's a few of those cops and then all of those people. And so, yeah, it, that's something where I'm like, man, them cops. It's a scary situation, but you know, it's it's good that you know nobody have to lose their lives over, you know, no silly stuff and things. So, yeah, it's uh, it's um, I'm like that was crazy. That was a, that was a crazy one. But anyways, guys, if you haven't, make sure you go subscribe to Code Blue Cam for more videos like this. Like, subscribe to me too, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.